Okay, and we're back with part two part of the episode 50 extravaganza. So, Peter, you want to tell, it was your idea, you want to tell everyone what we're doing for the next hour and a half or so? Yep. Here we go. So, we've been reading comics all our lives, and we think we know a thing or two about comics. So, here's our chance to prove it. Want to take the SATs? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I didn't study. I emailed Brian and said, what do you think about this idea? And said, why don't we powwow, like any good writer, artist, editor, whatever, and collaborate to try to come up with our own character? Can we do that? And not nope. just the character, okay, but <laughs> supporting cast. And well, or, well his, origin. his origin, his history, and, and cool his arch name villain or whatever, maybe. Yeah. maybe an arch nemesis. Maybe a love interest, you know. Doesn't even, no doesn't, love interest. <laughs> doesn't have to be a man. Maybe it could be a woman. Who knows? But our, the idea is we always talk about comics and, and creators and artists and writers, and I just thought, well, you know, here's a chance to really you know, put our money where our mouth is and see what we can come up with. See if it's easy to try to come up with a cool Something original, original and, idea. Know. Well, I got dozens okay. of characters at home. Well, you that's start? Uh, <laughs> you know, no preconceived notions. But I mean, you know, we can certainly start from somewhere, and then we'll just bounce around ideas and yeah. and go from there. So I thought it might be a fun kind of, you know, speak our thought process kind of thing. Well, you thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we have some special announcements no, <laughs> afterwards that that you know will even make it even more fun. But we'll keep that to ourselves and for who? afterwards. I figured it out for everybody. I figured it out. So. So Come on, Dark Titan <laughs> Tech. Can you figure that out already? So, who wants to start? <sighs> well, what are you gonna? I mean, how are you gonna do this process? Is it just, we're just gonna speak we're, up and say yeah, whatever? Exactly. However, we're just gonna. Hash and then it what out. you're gonna? Like one of the things I said to, I said it's gonna Brian, be like a common agreement. Then, like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Exactly. We'll do that. Yeah. All right. Like one of the things I said to him was, you know, Alex Ross has a a thing that he he kind of puts certain characters into like four. Four categories. Four categories when it comes to their origin. Like Superman is uh, science fiction. Batman is te technological. Wonder Woman is mythology. Mythological? Mythological, huh? <laughs> technical. Technical, I said. <laughs> and, uh, uh, he there belonged goes that. to the technology. <laughs> 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 the pronunciation. And uh, Captain Marvel is magical. I, I, I think those are the four yeah, like, that things. That sounds about right. I, yeah, and I thought, okay. Where does mutants wait, wait, Yeah, what about, I was going to say, what about, like, wasn't you said, told me one, wasn't there one for... Um, you know, like uh, the radiation and all that stuff. Where does that fall? Is that I think that's sci-fi, maybe accidental. Mm -hmm. Accidental. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's accidental. Yeah, accidental. accidental. <laughs> Should have brought my old, my Got old it. Marvel role-playing stuff that we could take the, the nope, ultimate powers, powers book GURPS. and you sit there and roll yeah. the dice. And I brought yeah. my GURP <laughs> supers book. <laughs> sit there and roll the dice. Pointers here. So I mean, so let's start with it. Do we want to make it a man? Do we want to make it a woman? Do we make it a boy, a, a girl? Woman with big breasts. I'd, just to keep up with I'd say either a young, like a like a like a older teenage boy or a young man. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of motivated into doing a woman. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, I should hope so. <laughs> I'm creating a female character. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a big announcement for Kevin wants episode to 15. do a woman Kevin and wants have to do a, a baby. Well, that's an announcement. I'm not you know ashamed I to make. <laughs> I was gonna go with a man since. You know, it's just what we read the most, or whatever. I but don't see, know. that's kind of the reason why I, I don't. I, I thought it'd be diff it'd be different to do a woman because I'm thinking, especially after the discussions that we've had recently about the cheesecake and having like real female characters, you know, realistic female characters, and thought that, well, why not come out with our own? It certainly, would be challenging. Yeah, and we're definitely sure. up the <laughs> I ante I'd, a little yeah. bit. Saying that, maybe we could do that if we if we decide to do a man, we could do that for the second character. But if we do it, the then we just do it the other way. Yeah. What? B. Right. Arthur's nemesis? <laughs> See, and that's the thing. Like, there, there's right there, boom, discussion port. You know, it always, it's funny how it always, the, 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 con, not the, con, the, uh, the default setting seems to always be man. Yeah. When we talk about superheroes. Now, I mean, you know, for the obvious reason. So let's think outside the box. Yeah. So this is a quick one. Uh, Tasha, superhero, that's it. What's the next game? <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to go? Well, let's, let's beat around some other thing. What, what kind beat of board? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know crazy. Peter's not gay anyway. <laughs> At least I gotta say this: if we don't do the female character, creating it would be the m probably the most entertaining yeah. aspect of the whole. Regardless thing. of the gender, what kind of origins appeal to everybody here? Like, what, like, you know, do you prefer the Superman? Do you prefer the alien, the mutant, the bat, like Batman or uh, Moon Knight or whatever that, or 
who else, you know, where they uh, you know, have to, or like Captain Mar- America, they have to get their powers through training. I would like to see somebody who is not necessarily as driven as Batman as far as, like, like parents killed or somebody close to them killed, but somebody technologically driven where they would find alien technology. So it would be a little bit alien, but still be very much human. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Greatest American Hero kind of thing. Yeah, sort of, sort of. Kind of like Hal Jordan, in a way, not so much with a power ring or anything specific, but he got that in an alien setting as Abin Sir crashing, but not necessarily alienish as Superman. Like Starbrand, you know? Green yeah. Lantern. Does that lend itself to Even you Starman, because he's got the cosmic rod with what, what powers that? Science, Science basically. Just Science. Like, yeah, stellar, <laughs> stellar rays. <laughs> Um, (laughs) Well, see, and I think that's kind of interesting aspect of it that you could get into because you don't even have to define it in an essence that you have. Well, certainly lends for more stories later. Right, because it's a discovery thing that it's a journey for the character to learn, is it alien, is it mystical, is is it it mythological, you know? So, I mean, it it lends a lot of open-endedness to creating stories. And you could could even have it, and and I know this has been done in, in other genres, but you could have where they're looking through pressing buttons and something hits and scans them and or or something little something comes out and shoots them like a dart and inside it is nanites techno- <laughs> technology that lets them understand what the computer's telling them now well, what's go go back to the origin thing just because i think like what so what we'll do are we doing guy or girl for do we decide well i, I think we're gonna wait on that yeah i think, I think we'll wait discuss on that. that well because it kind of could affect the origin it could but well, I mean, yeah but i mean you can kind of get you can kind of get general right now. Because right, yeah. here's, here's my gut feeling right here. We're talking about if they find something that gives them powers, and we do, they don't know whether it's alien or whatever yet. But it could be a Boy Scout on, on some you know camping trip or something, and he and his buddy are stumbling around in some cave or something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, get your fucking mind out of here. Can we just have a serious conversation, for God's sake? <laughs> How long have you known me? <laughs> Clearly not long enough, <laughs> but it's already too long. <laughs> <laughs> not long enough, but too long. Uh, and you know they, you know they find something, and the one guy like you know fiddles What's with that? it too much, and and uh, he's Brad's going to kick you out. Gonna soon. I'm going to just <laughs> unplug that. <microphone. laughs> um, we'll go back to the origin thing. Like, what origin story more appeals to? you? Like obviously, I guess Shane's more like more technological the Batman. Than, than strictly alien. Right. But now, if you're going to do a boy, I would do or a girl, like like a younger person, I would do it on a trip somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> on a field trip somewhere. It's not some, funny anymore. <laughs> you're isolated. <laughs> some, it's hilarious. Some other country going around either ruins or like a forest that nobody explores anymore. Um, so do you think the as- Greek ruins or do you Mayan think the ruins? aspect of, of of something happening in their life is really what makes a hero like because that's always like my thing like you know with Batman and a lot of the Marvel characters you know they always have a flaw right. and to them to that it's like does that give does that bring out the hero in the character before I, they even become a hero right I, I or, would I, I like that not to interrupt but um, actually in the whole. Bruce Wayne, murderer, fugitive type of thing. There was a, a line in one of the last couple parts where someone is actually speaking to, to Batman, saying about how he doesn't think Bruce Wayne is a killer. And he said, it's not one moment in somebody's life that defines them. It's several moments in their lives that what they choose to do and how they handle it that makes them who they are. Right. And at, by the end of that issue, he started to rethink him, about himself. And that's kind of when he started to come to grips with maybe he, sh- he does need that Bruce Wayne persona again. But here, see when I if you want a tragic hero, yeah, you take the idea. There's two Boy Scouts are exploring a cave or something. They find this object, and of course, you know, if you're only 13 or whatever, I want it. No, I want it. No, I found it first. No, I did. And they're fighting over it, and he yanks it, and the other guy loses his grip and falls off a ledge and bangs his head in a rock and dies. And so now, as as a result of killing his friend, he ends up getting superpowers. And so now his his trade off is he better you know save people for the rest of his life to make up for his. How sins. about yeah. how about one up on that? How about if you're going to go that kind of angle, then have them fight over it, and then the one gets it, you know, the one keeps it, and the other one's pissed off about that. And, and then he gets superpowers, and now the other one's envious of him. So now you got this friendship, There's but now you villain. have the 
now you have this uh, this clashing as well. So then there's your supervillain that in 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 you know that can stem from that. It doesn't have to be not right away. It could it, be yeah, like it, a slow process. Exactly, right? it doesn't even have to go to that path. It can be the fact that just throughout the rest of his life now that he knows who is the right. superhero or she is a superhero, or whatever, and that could have been him. And it would or def- is that too cliche? Because how many super villains and super and and superheroes are, are now see i see the, i see the thing that the killing thing is more like you know i lost a friend you know i lost yeah, somebody that's, that's yeah. of like yeah. blue beetle i yeah. almost think so it'd be think interesting if it turned out the person that didn't get it somewhere along, along the line they realized that even if they would have had whatever it is that he finds he w- still would have been the villain they yeah they, they still would not have been the hero because the, the person actually got it there's something in that person that decided well sure i mean you're any- worthy of any character that you have, I mean, I know when I create all my characters, I always develop weaknesses. Because I used to, you know, when I used to role play years ago, guys would create characters, and it's like, well, you know, I can't screw up. I can't, you know, it's it, it was all the only reason that there was any interest in the role playing was because of the, the, the luck of the dice thing. Whereas when I developed all my characters, all of them had weaknesses. I allowed room for stories to be told. Around, I, I always allowed growth for the character. I always allowed opportunities for the character so i think that's where you really for in my opinion that's where you really gain um a journey for your character gives people to get interested in the character and get interested in the choices that that character makes which of course develops that character as a hero one way or the other well that's a you know when you're playing gurps and you build a character you know you have a certain number of points and you use points to buy things but then you buy yourself points back by giving them Things that aren't so good, limitations. Oh, okay. You know, so just like you're talking about. Yeah. You know, see, I never it. played GURPS. We always played Marvel and so stuff. So it forces you to now. You know, most of the time you're limited because otherwise you just give yourself an unlimited amount of points. By right. Making you every bad trait. In the yeah. Book. I mean, you but, used yeah. to have come, guys come in and go one or two, and you say, oh, okay, you know. Right. I mean, now, for me, because if we like say we start to go this this way, um, I don't think I would want them to be young. I think I would want them to be either in their twenties. Yeah. College age. Yeah. I, or I even they're... older. Like because if they're if it's something that they're finding, and and it's a friendship, but yet they're the whole thing about like the seeds of your friendship, you know, like there has to be some kind of competition aspect. Maybe I, I don't know if I'd want him a teenager. I think probably twenties. Well, I think me. I think if you 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 overdo the teenage thing, the, the angst of the teenager and all that yeah. stuff. So I think if you do. You get more creative when you develop a character who's in their twenties or even their thirties. You know, well, I mean, you don't have to fighting over it if they're in their twenties. Oh, we don't know that yet. Well, we, yeah, there's, yeah, there's. We don't know. I mean, obviously, if if you find something, whatever it is, something has to happen when you find it that right. both of you realize, oh, this is obviously something. That Maybe it's because it's something. two female characters who are in their thirties and they find it, and it's like a, a, a almost like a piece of jewelry or something like that, and it's like. Oh well, I would want that because that's, I think that so looks is that cool. Too petty, then? Well, not too petty, Women but it gives over it gives a motivation that you know that's something that they both admire for what it looks like without not knowing what it is. And then when the one you know, then you could do that whole role, you know, that whole role change. Whereas the one that the one that really wants it is the one that doesn't get it then, and goes like, well, you know what? That's fine. If you really want it that much, then I'll let you have it. And then they let the other person have it, and all of a sudden they get the powers, and it's like, right. oh. So now you take that whole thing of role reversal, where that person now is then jealous and envious and going well, like, wow, why didn't I keep on to that? What, you know? Something well, that we talked about before, um, which I guess we could kind of bring into this because it's not really like putting too many levels on. But I remember one time we talked about the whole friendship where uh, we talked about something other than Crusaders. So it was in it was in the context of Crusaders, like what what could be an easy show to do without all the special effects and the costumes yeah. and we talked it we came up with good and bad yeah and we came up with the concept that these are two friends that don't know each who each other are they don't know who each other are who they alter eagles are right. but yet they're actually a hero and an art and an arch enemy but they don't know that you know and they're just two guys who hang out and and we could almost take a, a page from that and but they but here they would know each other you know and mm-hmm. um I th- I think if if you have it where they find something, um, one finds it, the other comments on it, and then you go Kevin's route where the other one says, well, you know what, this trip is for you. Like like say say you either have two women, even a guy and a girl, just two friends, where right. uh, the girl the girl had a husband who died, 
Right. And the guy friend decided, okay, well, we're going to go on a trip. You know, you get your way from everything that's happened to you. We're going on a trip. Go across Europe. Go find something. And either the girl gives it to the guy saying, hey, thanks because you took me on this trip to get my mind off of it. And then he becomes the hero and she still becomes the villain. Or flip it where he finds it says, all right, well, here, help help you get over here something really pretty or really nice that we found. Take it and then go from there. I'll give you something that's less, I think, less coincidental. What if it's if it's uh, something that they inherit or one of them inherits so that not only do you start to get the same where did it come from, but now you also have a generational thing like maybe yeah. – 20 years ago, we don't. Maybe there's a whole other story 20 years ago that, that you can also then tap into. Like a great oh, grandfather. I, like, I love or something. that. It's, it's a you know, whole DC thing with multiple generations right. of heroes. And it's the, also the Starman yeah. thing. You know, like, you know, you could take it. You could take it. You don't have to explain it at all, but yet there could be something. Because then I think you could tap into stories earlier, but not make it superheroes. You know, you can make it more like what. Uh, more like, like times past. Pulp. You know, well, no, that that if somebody was using that device, it was all in secret. It was a, it wasn't a superhero type thing. It's only become a superhero type type thing now. Well, I, I like that somebody passes away, John, and you're somebody meaning goes along as a friend. Quiet. Uh, so, just thinking, uh, how about a superhero who everything he orders from the back of the comic, like the X-ray glasses, the itching powder, <laughs> the everything works. But everything he, works. he sells either seeds or cards by day. And has to make enough points to order this stuff in order to stay a superhero, because he has to order the stuff. And, you know, and I have more stuff to use in crime fighting. Kind of funny. That'll be the sidekick. That's the indie. That's the indie book that will that's develop. That's the eight-page <laughs> backup story and all. But that's kind of cool, though. Like yeah. if you think about all that crap that's in that stuff. That's he actually gets it from funny. this company. He like, actually an buys the X-ray specs. Works. He's the one kid that bought the X-ray specs, and they actually work. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, I think then. I think then somebody. I don't know. I mean, sometimes that. <clears throat> Again, I think the doing that, the gender, the the whole passing of the torch kind of thing gets too overdone in an essence. I mean, you got well, it with Starman. You had it he, with you know, the Phantom. And you had passing it with the torch, I don't think he would know. Who would know? The they, they just, they just know they're going over. Like, say, I always say overseas because there's weird things that happen overseas, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing wacky ever happens <laughs> in the United States. Nothing wacky happens <laughs> yeah. in the yeah. You know, somebody's relative passes away. They have to go overseas to get whatever they're inheriting. They bring a friend along. The two of them go over and inherit this thing, but they have no knowledge that it ever did anything. And just throughout the course of time, it develops that things happen when they have this object around. One of them ends up being a villain or not. Maybe they, maybe they are just hero and sidekick or hero and helper. I don't know. Sidekick, that makes me twinge. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to sidekick. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm just a partner. I'm saying you don't, I don't have think to you have to explore the, the previous generation. You could save that for issue fifty. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden, yeah, all they, all yeah. they have. I to mean, know it does give that. you the opportunity to, to to expand on what you're doing. It doesn't right. limit you to what's happening here. Um, yeah, they just know they're inheriting then, something, and that's it. But Jay, then, but no, because then you're you're also taking into consideration that the generation beforehand had it and was aware of something. No, but no, that, not necessarily. No, it's like that's why I said if you do the whole pulp angle and they do it in secret, public like doesn't know. Kind of thing. Right? Yeah, I'm thinking of like sh- uh, not the shadow. Um, Phantom. I think kind of, yeah. yeah, but, but, but even, even he think, was too much. But even think like a like a great eye. or a great grandfather would have had it, known about it, did it in secret. He died, passed it on, but whatever next generation or two didn't have any kind of ability within them that this thing would recognize and wake up. So then along comes this great great grandchild who is going to get it and had no chance of ever getting it before, but because of some relation ends up getting right. it. And then this thing, oh, hey, this person has that ability. This person could be what this great-grandfather was years ago. Well, that is true. I mean, it is true with, with DNA that it, some some things do skip a generation. Right. So, I mean, you could play Just off that skip aspect. skip a couple that, where this person had no knowledge of that. That, I think, would be more interesting rather than having it like, oh, well, this father passed it down to him. No, you no, know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want no, the tie. No, no, no. Not, no, no, no. not, not directly like that. that. Yeah. I want it all that the guy, that wouldn't, he wouldn't know and then anything about it at all. Eventually, this person who ends up with it, whether it's the person directly related or the person that went with the person directly related, ends up eventually things happen or they have powers or whatever. And eventually starts to investigate, however far into the story you want to, investigates 
where this thing came from and finds out that this great great grandfather, great great grandmother first got this and that's when that's like the first time anybody's heard of it for like a couple hundred years or something. Right. Hey, here's your here's your dual sex thing here. How about the current person is a male, but the previous generation was a female. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Do that. Yeah. And then we can introduce that person or vice versa, however later on yeah. in the, in the uh, sure. – that just changes it up a little bit. And then you find out things that this past person did, and you can have the adventure, but nobody knows about it. And I don't think they have to have the same powers. In fact, I think they no. have different powers. No, yes. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think so because it's it, your personality. It it, it, it adapts it, to your personality, and it, it gives you know whatever feeds this on that this thing or this object or this power, whatever it is, realizes traits in people and DNA, not necessarily. The and, same here, thing. and I'm going to throw this out. I think whatever this little object is that gives them powers should give them powers permanently. It shouldn't be like they have to have this thing built into the costume or built into something because then they can lose it and then all oh, they don't have yeah. their powers. And I'm so sick and tired of when, you know, like I, you know, you hate those things. Oh, I if dropped I'm separated my cosmic rod. Sixty then minutes, now 60 I don't seconds, have. I can't. Yeah. But just be yeah. a little careful because uh, what's that one character in uh, Supreme Power that got that thing embedded in his hand? Doc Spectrum. And yeah, can't. no, I'm not saying no, it should be quite. embedded. I'm just okay. saying it says, oh, and transfer okay. power I have to, to have you, it. Yeah. and now you have power, and that's it. And you'll right. never and it's be not without work, your power. And it's not going to work again for anybody else until he dies. Like yeah, something like yeah. that. It's like, like a genetic and, coding. Not that, and, not that he would know that at all. Right, but, right. You know, that's, it's like a genetic coding. Right, right. It only codes to that person's DNA, which, of course, will keep you. And keep everybody it. has, while similar traits, different things about them that it. Well, and I think that's a good that's a good thing to do because your your whole programming, even your genetic programming, is still within your system. You know, in your in your uh, in your brain between your hemispheres is where your programming of your DNA and such comes from. So everybody's is different because. No matter who you are, your, your DNA is different from everybody else. So, right. so when it when it would influence or however you would say it would do what it would do, it would work off of that programming. Not that it works off of like mental flaws or you know things like that, but it's more of an aspect of each whoever this whoever wields this power. It's different every time. So it'd almost be you know not that we're stealing this, but like the mask. Where depending on who th- was wearing the mask, it would kind of bring and, out those yeah. kind of powers. From well, sort well, no, of, that, that, that's no. the mask is more like personality wise. Okay, um, I think this wh- is more I think like once it's activated, nobody can use that again until this guy. No, dies. I'm just saying that your like powers just, are based on something that's just in you. Emphasizes, that it, oh, I see. it, it emphasizes it somebody. Else. Well, I'm saying okay. the, I'm saying the power. Yeah, whatever powers or whatever you come up with will be will be through the genetic coding of that person, not by their personality or their traits or mental traits or anything like that it's each time that you know when you find out if this has happened through generations you know and and how far back you want to go with this that every time that person's been different whoever has had power is different absolutely because then it's not the same thing you know it's not like you have you know this character who's been secretly doing things for years and years and years i think it i think that makes it unique for each individual person because then it also adds that aspect if you would have had two people you know pining for the object and one gets it one doesn't or however you want to play that angle if you want to play that angle then you have the possibilities what if that other person got it right not and this and instead of the person that did get it you mean like twins if they would have been not so much t- well i mean you know well, that's that's an aspect too yeah. because even though the twins are identical twins they still have some differences in their i would genetics. do what's the fraternal twins where they're where one is a guy and one is a girl yeah they don't have uh, yeah because i remember well, whatever that does. Identical means you're identical, and fraternal means you're fraternal. just twins. Right. You're just yeah. born at the same time. Oh, right, you know, right, like right. Uh, Arnold Two different eggs or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. As opposed to the Is that something, Jamie, twins. that would interest you in a comic book? <laughs> it just looks what like he's really interested, so right? <laughs> I think he's passed out. <laughs> Not really, no. He's no. still thinking about okay, how well, to speak up. So what, what, what well, no, you guys were running with it. No, no, no. I'm building it in my I'm building my own in my mind right now. Right. But, I mean, the point also is what... What, you I, know, like, what I, I like the enjoy. idea of. I've been thinking of you, you're trying. We're trying to go off a, a new genre or a new. You know, we didn't want it a kid. All that. I was thinking of. Not so much partners, but. Uh, two guys who were young together, um, like archaeologist type thing. One guy who would be the the villain, is looking for this certain object, in an archaeological dig or whatever. His partner. Uh, who he's with will will actually find the object. The guy will pass over the object, not thinking of what it is. It's 
I'm still trying to figure out what the object will do. I'm thinking myth mythological, give him powers, some kind of like um, super strength. Maybe we can tie it into like the gods. It gives him the power of Hercules or something like that. He finds it. Again, the guy overlooks it, gives it to him. It's just a bauble, a, a necklace or something. He takes it, he puts it away, he keeps it. Only when he becomes an old man, when they both become older men, like 60s, does he realize what it is. He then activates it by accident, you know, one of those wacky accidents. He activates it, and it turns him from an old man into a young man again. And he could start, and now all of a sudden his the guy who is no longer really his friend, they were they, they kind of parted ways, suddenly sees this young kid, realizes that's what he wants, but doesn't realize that it's his former partner that has it. Because when he doesn't turn this on or doesn't have it activated, he's back to the old man again. So you could have all that, you could have it you know, you could have his 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 spunky young niece or whatever is there she helps him with stuff uh you know he confides into her that that's what he this that's what's happening to him you have so you have the multi-generational thing you can have male female uh you can have it that she could pick up this thing activated and she would have the powers um and that's what that's pretty much as far as i've gotten while you guys are well while you things. were talking about this let me add this on to you you talked about having the two the two people working as an archaeological team find the object <clears throat> what i was thinking was the one guy finds it maybe the guy who's in charge of the dig or whatever finds it studies the object has it and and you know the other guy knows about it mm -hmm. but it does nothing to him you know it, it, there's no effect on him for him obtaining the object or whatever now the other guy picks it up and starts studying it and does something and and finds something and it triggers it mm -hmm. and it works on him that it gives him the abilities. So now you have that animosity with the other guy who initially was more motivated to find the thing than the other guy was. But, you know, you put that twist on it that it worked for one and not the other so that he's always envious. And, and just to play devil's advocate to what Jamie was saying, is it interesting to a reader to read about an old man who can become young? No. I think it is because it's something you haven't seen. Well, you, I, You've seen the young man... Who becomes older with the Captain Marvel, which is one of my favorite origins. I, I love that. And I was just trying to think of a twist on that where, you know, he's an older man who becomes young and can actually maybe relive his youth through that experience type deal. And that's, to me, that's my catch with it. I like what Kevin said, but I don't want the young man to have the power. I want the older man to Does relive it. Does he still it. think like an old man? Yeah, that's the whole thing. He has the life. You know, he, he can come as like the teenager, and everybody yeah, doesn't so that, expect him. No. That doesn't appeal to me. No, it doesn't appeal. Okay. No, me neither. Because I almost not, not to say that be that's, out of yeah. touch then with the, the current. But see, that's world. what I'm thinking. And uh, you know, if you, uh, if he was young again, and but also mentally was young, but could never change back as a two. Because I I don't. To me, I readers the, be attracted to. Um, so you're attracted to Captain America. Marvel. Captain. No, Cap. Well, oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, Captain you're, you're going Captain. I'm going America. yeah, Captain America because he's an old, older man. The fish in out a of water. I, that's you yeah. know. Well, that's... you have that with Magneto too, mm -hmm. who is actually older but is now younger again. So he has like a second chance on things. So I mean, you have kind of that aspect. What if that's just? I don't know. I was see, say, to me, something it's about like his alter ego is somehow he switches back to an old man. So it's really, you know, nah. surprising. And you know. Yeah. I think the old alter ego thing is kind of passe as far as interesting anymore. I mean, nobody... I, I it's like, like that transformation thing that kind of takes away, disempowers the character himself then. Yeah, I'll agree. I like the aspect of being an old man and turning young, but I would stay young, like what you said, I think. But I don't know that I would do it in an archaeological dig like that because then I start thinking Indiana Jones and Belloc. There are a lot okay. of... I mean, there are a lot of... How about... How about how about this? We go with our whole, he inherits this thing, but instead of being triggered when he's 22 and he goes and gets the thing, it, it takes him, until he's an older man, that finally he's ready, the thing finally says, now you can be a superhero or whatever, because now you, you've, you know, you've matured, you're ready, you're mental state or whatever. 
and he becomes young but stays young again. So almost he gets yep. to relive his whole life again. Because, again, I don't want him to ever be able to lose his powers. Yep. What you said, he's old, but then he's young when he has the powers, then he goes back to being old. I just don't yeah. like that. I like him to have their powers all the time. And, and 24-7. I, that was, well, and that that was my good, next thing. That, that, that puts a good twist on what something the readers might be interested in because we all have the old saying, like, what if I knew then what I know now? Yeah. Right. So now you can take that whole – you're taking that whole aspect that's something that most people – most, no, almost all people can relate to in some way, shape, or form, and now this person has the opportunity to go and have a second lifetime in their lifetime, utilizing what they've already learned, and that was part of the catalyst of what they, whatever you know, has. I can live with that. That has. Uh, but I still like the his nemesis as the old guy. Yes. Oh, I like oh, that yes, too. Absolutely. I think I could live with that too. The only yeah. thing though is that. I, it's, the older mentality bothers me, though. Like, why? Because see, first I, of all, younger guys people are don't. Cool. First, they have lots well, yeah, of cool but see, ideas but first of all, younger teenagers don't give a shit what older people think. Right. And so. I don't want to read about a character who's young in a young body with an older mentality, going, "Oh God, what's that kid wearing? Oh God, what's yeah, you know, they, they, don't have to to like that. they don't have to all be like that. Trolling the no, senior citizen warp for the. I mean, I, you <laughs> know, I have the stars who end up being sixty and they're still act like they're twenty-two. I mean, why? Why does it I have mean, to but be? That's, yeah. that's the unusual. But then, I mean, that's, that's part but then of, that's part the of the device appeal. wouldn't work for them because they're not mature. They're rock stars. Exactly. Yeah, but it's they don't have. That's it. part of the appeal that he's young at heart, though. Not necessarily that he's. Ooh, let's go play. Let's <laughs> go get drunk every week. I have this. I have this uh, picture running through my mind. I see this older person getting these powers and becoming young, but has the old mentality. And right. Gets, and gets killed because <laughs> he just can't cope with what's going on <laughs> and doesn't have the the sharpness to. But that to do what he needs to do and and and, and gets his he, ass wiped in but battle. But that's where maybe the grandkid comes in and helps him. Or the but, but you see, I, I like niece. that idea because I'm tired of seeing young guy learning learning with his powers and gets his ass handed. Well, to see, him. I'm not saying this young guy, guy because I think if you can you can kind of this guy would have the life experience to be able to handle some of the situations that a superhero. Yeah, would maybe get you know, maybe into. he yeah. was a soldier in a war. That's kind of cliche, but yeah. you know, he just. You know, maybe he was a uh, you know river kayak adventurer kind of guy. He did tours of uh, on the Whitewater Rapids. So he all, his whole life, and these sixty year old mountain men are no slouches. You know, they're they're tough dudes. You know what I mean? So you don't. He doesn't have to be an old guy playing shuffleboard. I mean, if he's sixty, he's not old. He's still going to the office every day yeah. and doing his job. You know, this guy who used to run uh, the who paved the trail up to uh, in uh, Mount Washington was in his 50s or 60s and he was carrying people up on his back like women and to take them up to the top so they could see the view and he was like 60 years old still climbing up the trail carrying people on his back so you can, you know not everyone who's 60 is a frail old man or has an old like <sighs> okay well you young right. whippers they're not eight, he's not 87 when he's changing well you see know? now okay what, what i'm thinking is playing with the fact that i'm i'm still my for myself right focusing on a female Playing character with. So with focusing on a female character, thinking that you have an older woman, all right, say she's in her 60s or whatever, early 60s, late 50s, if you look at the difference in family values and the way life was lived years ago and such that, you know, you sacrifice your life for your kids and you did all that stuff, so you figure a housewife never really had a chance to go out and really live, live. Well, well who says she's a housewife? Well, I'm, not, I'm just saying. This is just, you know, things that are popping in my head. So now she has a chance. This is like a second chance yeah. for her. This, is her. this gives her a chance to have an adventurous life. You know, she doesn't have to be some... Really super athletic person who's in great shape in her sixties or whatever. This is somebody that's your average, average fifty, sixty year old woman that you would see in your neighborhood or whatever. Looks that back. all of a sudden has an opportunity to take all the things that she's learned in life and now have this adventurous life and and be able to. It's like a second, a second chance, second childhood, second. You know, it plays on that whole humanistic thing and gives her a whole different life. I mean, a, an actual whole different life within her life kind of thing. Because her husband the whole time in whatever job he did still got to go out and do things and she was still stuck right. at home doing whatever. She stayed home took care of the, you know, took care of the ham family, the Kids, house, and, house food, and did all the things that were necessary and such. So she never got out into the workplace and met lots of people and did lots of socializing and got to do adventurous things, you know. She just had her mundane average life. Now, you, now she's she's got a whole the whole, it's it's completely 180 on her. A new bag. Yeah. What do you yeah. think, John? I actually don't mind the idea, like of of her being old, you know, and still having the, you know, old mentality. But I think it could be something that, you know, if she becomes young again with whatever this thing is, 
you know, it's kind of like she'll remember what it was like, you know, when she was old. She's in this young body, and then as time goes by, at first it's awkward and everything, but as time goes by, she starts to forget, you know, what it was like to be old. Like, she, she starts to to lose the... Especially uh, because the, she has superpowers. Right, so... I mean, plus you get that kind of best of both worlds, because she has the, the maturity and the, and the experience of life, but she gets to also have the younger more adventurous kind of life too so it's kind of the best of both worlds she can still have the her same uh mentality and same okay uh maturity level and maybe she does appear younger doesn't have to be you know a 20 year old but she can appear younger um and 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 be realistic about it would she capitalize on that would she Yes. Like yeah. a model? Exactly. So see what, see what see, kind that, of dynamics you add to that character, yeah. though. Throw, and then you throw in, like, the husband is the one who found that whatever we found, whatever we Right, and gave her as a present. Or or he just passed away. And okay. That's what I was thinking. That's, yeah, he, he passed, passed away. away. And he's that's what yeah, triggered right. that. He's going yeah. through this stuff. So it's like his life gives her a second life. Exactly. Right. In, in an inadvertent way. Because yeah. now she's ready to become a young person again because now she doesn't have to be the housewife anymore or whatever. And, and, and maybe, now she's free and now... And maybe you'd never, you'd never hear this, but maybe after all this time, and he doesn't know what this thing is necessarily, but he realizes that he never gave her the life, the chance to do what he did. Like on his deathbed type of thing? Not even necessarily that. He just... I mean, like, like maybe a he, simple wedding anniversary yeah, and then right. two, three days later he dies. He passes crash. away and, and <laughs> he gives her something that he found or was given years or ago. In the middle of the war, across Europe or whatever. How about this? How about if you? I'm, again, just thinking out loud. How about if he knew? If he learned? If he found this? Say he was a. Uh, say he was a, a, a World a, War II veteran. Yeah. And he found this object in Europe or you know wherever he well, was. Well, maybe at, he was one of the screaming eagles that invaded Hitler's thing, and it was. He found this Hitler's artifact, reaction. and you look at the whole thing with you know. That's something that's historical. You know, with yeah, with the whole. Master race and the whole motivation behind the master race and and such that they were artifacts, things that they were studying, oh, sure. supernatural wise and such. That maybe he found this thing and was intrigued by it, learned about it, never took used all this, it, talk, but or maybe took all this time to learn about it, right? And then passing it on to her was a way maybe for people not to get it back from him if people were looking for this thing or something like that, or. Give it to her as him being aware of what it will do for her. No yeah. Nazis. Well, what about? No, I'm not, I don't want. No, <laughs> I, I don't want to do that. Nazis, because the Nazis are going to sell your book. Nazis and monkeys. So yes, cool. no, wait, wait, Michael Lark can draw it. Well, don't. <laughs> I don't want to do that anyway because I have my whole. I've been writing a, a book for the past three years that has Nazis a lot to do with stuff in it, and I don't want to do World War Two with. Well, wait a minute. I, I have to maybe take this a little bit further. What about if he knew what it could do, but it never worked for him? So. They, they either they're getting a divorce or something. He's just like, you know what? You want this piece of shit? Take it, and it activates for her. So now he knows she has all these powers, and that's that. He See, almost I, becomes her. Yeah, yeah. See, I get the feeling yeah. like he he knows it and gives it to her, and that makes the gift how, that much more how about, special. How about he's right. he's dying of cancer? Yeah, and he's on his last legs or whatever, and they have their you know. 30th anniversary, yeah, anniversary yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And he says, here, I want you to have this. Because right. maybe he kept it hidden in a drawer and she never knew about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's what I'd and like. And then because he knows that she's a better person than he is, and so he thinks maybe it'll work for her because it never worked for me. And then but, that's what happens. See, and I don't, do I don't do even, even need it to have – do you even need it to be like that? Why can't it no. just be that he's I dying? I want I want for yeah. no special – you know what I mean? Because then it's even more kind of mundane. I want that because it's more of the – it's it's more – it gives it more it's depth more of the for their offering. relationship. And it's right. and it's him offering her to live her but life he without him being there. So he doesn't tell her that it has powers. He just gives her this exactly, present. right, exactly. Right. I don't want him to know that like I tried using it on myself and it didn't work. So I'm going to give it to you because that kind of takes away. And it sets up too much. Yeah. So whereas yeah. this is kind of like I know what it is. I've learned throughout all these years and all this research I've done, and I know what it can do. And she I'm never dying, knew. And now I'm finally telling you that I'm dying. And and on my deathbed, yeah, I give you with, this item, and she takes it and gets these powers, you know, and realizes that this is this whole special thing that he's done for her. Even if you tie it into something like you know, I know what you, I know you've never said it in the back of your mind. I know you've not been maybe not happy, but I know you felt that there was more that you could get out of life. Right. And uh, Are you getting choked up. Peter? If no, <laughs> and if you take this, I just want you to have this to remember me by. Right. And, and blah blah blah, but see, doesn't I, explain anything. Doesn't say, but just says I'm, I, you know, maybe this will 
help you in some. You know what I mean? Like, right. So it becomes very mundane. It's a. Bo- it's like almost boring. You know, not that it's as tragic. You're dying of cancer. No. Da, 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 that that kind of. Uh, I know. also think all the research he did was in his study, which is you know typically I would say back in forties fifties mentality the man's study yeah, where he's doing all this research <laughs> and she never questioned it because he said no leave me alone. Well, not even that. It's just the fact that she respected his space. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Knowing that okay. he'd come home and that was his way. He of, was just doing something and well, he didn't I mean, want to know, talk about it. Get the men with men are from Mars, women are from Venus kind of thing. Whereas like men have their cave, you know. Yeah. Hypo, you know, quote unquote cave. A he was place, an alien. Yeah, <laughs> a place where they can go to kind of you know get away from life. I don't every know what day. you're talking about. I don't was, have anything. Yeah, I know. Carson. None of us have no idea what we're talking about. But that that is that. What was that? You know, so he was Cave Carson. Yes. <laughs> so I mean, him going to his study, and him, you know, researching and learning about this thing for all these years, yep. it, it was his thing for him. I mean, some some people, my friend of mine, he does it with gardening. He just loves sure. to grow. I mean, that's what he does. He goes to work every day and comes home at night and likes to work in the garden and they grow their, all their own vegetables. So everybody has their motivation and have their thing that, that gives them something. And that's – I look at it as like that's what he would do. He would go home and he would spend a lot of his spare time and he would go in and, and research and learn about this and do all this stuff. And she just never like, you know, that's his stuff. That's yeah. fine, you yeah. know. It doesn't have to be like, no, stay away from it, you know, because I think, again, you're taking – you're taking away from the relationship between those two people, right. and you're taking yep. away of the gift, the power of the gift. Okay. Right. Well, I don't know. I, maybe I'm just relationship bitter, but I'd almost <laughs> like to see it no, as... No, I don't see how anybody would figure that. As that becomes her arch nemesis, there's kind of an, you know, that someone that they were once together, and now they they reach the point where they're getting divorced, and then that just adds to it where he's like, you know what? This piece of shit, it doesn't work. You just take it. Gives her power, and he's like, fuck, you know, that works for her. It doesn't work for me. And then that kind of... Who better knows? Who would then better why, know then, each well, other? But then, what would motivate him to give it to her? If he was thinking that it had right. powers, why would he give somebody else a chance worthless. to have it? Arch, well, yeah. No, no, it's not worthless because if he, if he's aware of the fact that it gives powers and he's he tried take it that and, chance. and it did it to him, why would he want to give it to somebody else and give them that opportunity? Well, he's, because he's, it's, he's, it's setting him, he's setting himself up. It's well, not worthless because it's, if he knows that it gives powers, then it, yeah. an, a supervillain would never stop. Exactly. Tampering with it until exactly. they got it to work. Right. They so, would do, do mean, something. You can go back to how he got it. Uh, you know, and that's where you could bring your Nazi into it. Like, I mean, a, you can go to so a grand, No, I'm just saying, a <laughs> grandchild of somebody who was on the team that was studying it, that was her. It became like her life work or his life work, and he, it disappeared. He didn't know where it went. He's been holding on to it for all these years, and now all of a sudden he sees, you know, when she makes her debut or however she, you know, she saves somebody or she does something. And he, and then maybe there's a telltale sign or something that he goes, "Whoa, that's what!" Or there's a, a necklace. He sees a necklace, or something. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of. I'm thinking here, along the lines. I want to try to get away from the Indiana Jones thing mm-hmm. and going like all oh, these archaeological and they found this dig and blah 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 because that's so plastic. Yeah, that's done a lot. So uh, what I would like yeah. to do is do something, do something the that it can happen in every a day. A war here, you can find it in a war, a construction site that when you're working on a site and it got unearthed and you found it while you were working and it's like, ah, oh, this is kind of cool. I'll like keep Dark it. Hall? You know, I, I don't know. I didn't read Dark Hall. Okay. It's kind of the same. Is that what happened to him? Yeah. I think he was just into some, like, abandoned warehouse, and he walks into this room, and there's this gem there, and he grabs it and gives him these <laughs> Yeah, guys. that's exactly what I was saying. Um, yeah. No, but I mean, it's something so simple like that. You don't have to get so complicated with it, because I think, again, it's been so overdone. Right. You know, there's so many archaeological people out there yeah. that are, you know. Have... Now, here's a question. Does she have kids? No. no. Good. Thank God. Yes. No, I don't no, want to that. No kids. No, 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 no. no kids. That's or if one she of the did, reasons why her life is empty is right. partially Or if she empty. did, they died earlier. Maybe she couldn't right. have kids. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, there you go. Play upon that angle. Maybe he couldn't give her Which kids. Which also plays into the aspect of her being special for getting these powers because you could kind of like this is predestined for her to have this, to her to get the powers. Because she couldn't have so kids. They, yeah, so her ability not to have kids was kind of all along this whole path so that, you know, that this – adds to her life and this also gives her the opportunity and and it would be better that she didn't have kids you know because again those are factors that can be used against her kind of thing right well i would almost so are we going with the husband that's dying knows that this has powers and he's given it to her i think that's a smart way to because play i'd it. almost say maybe they couldn't have kids because of him and now he knows if he gives her this she'll get that's true her younger life and this is part of his gift that he's given to her that now not only do you get youth back you could meet somebody else younger that's and true. have kids. That's true. I don't mind that. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. All right, so we're getting an angle here. we got a female character who's in her 60s, early 60s. You want to go with that? What age does she become? 62. 
No, no, no. no, no what age? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was from 60 to 62. Well, you're the ones telling me 60 is not an old 21. age, so shouldn't no. it be like 70? I think, and now, I if think, he's in World War II and we're in 2005, Well, yeah, absolutely. They, yeah, if yeah. you're going to go World War II thing, right. then you're going to have to I don't, take it into consideration. Well, I think but we I don't go nothing World War II. Has has to be no, I want to stay away from the either. World War II thing. Yeah, that's... I want to I want to go... What about Vietnam? Because I want to make it... I don't want to go Vietnam. I don't... Korea. 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 Korean. Does it even have to be a war thing? Do we even have to associate with war? I mean, I kind of want to try to do something different. Maybe there's he's so an auctioneer, things. and he and he and he found and, it. You know, I mean, it, there's there's so many things that you can do. I think you're limiting or yourself no. by now by trying to He'd do. He'd like that. to go to auctions every Sunday. Morning I think if you keep it simple, thing. you'll find that you'll keep it more realistic. Um, well, that's something that you don't even have to explain. Exactly. You just let it he go, and that's it. the mystery. Yeah, he just had it. Right. And, he, and he's been working on it. And we don't know. She doesn't know. She nope. doesn't know. Right. So we all discover it bits and pieces at a time. Yeah. The best stories write themselves as So she's go, 62. So. That means we may find it's 2005, out so she was born in, what, 43, 1943. So that means, you know, that would put her in, her, in, in you know, her teens, late teens, in the late 50s, early 60s. You know. So, well, see, I look at my mom, and, and my mom is sixty-two, and, and you're right; she doesn't act like she's well, sixty-two. Exactly. Remember, maybe they're even older. If you if you were in your twenties in the sixties, you knew what life was. Absolutely, you know what I mean. You went through that whole generation, and then you were in your thirties and your seventies or whatever. You know, you're, you're, there's a lot of there changes in society there. and everything, and, and and awarenesses and all. But that then, would of... she have the mentality of wanting to be with a husband? Like, if you're older and you live through the fifties, you know, like right out of high school, marrying someone in the fifties, that's yeah, but if you so but, when so really she's looking at the sixty as oh I could never be that way, but now she has an opportunity to but be. Now that. she realizes well, it's that freedom. Okay. If she was born nineteen forty three and she got married when she was sixty eight, I mean 16, when she was twenty, 17, oh, when 20? she was twenty, well, even well okay. whatever it's it's nineteen sixty three. The sixties have barely just begun. So right. then right. she got married too soon and she just missed, missed all the that. party time, yeah. and, right, and all that stuff. So she can look back and you know have sure. some regrets. Yeah. All right, so so let's say she's sixty-two, female character. Now, when she becomes this hero, if you want to call it how that way, how young does she become? How young does she become? I Is still it, say twenties, late twenties. I would say late twenties. I don't want to go too young. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't want to go teens. Late twenties. I don't want to go teens. Twenty-six, twenty-seven. No, I'd almost. I'm, I'm leaning saying twenty-one towards thirties. No, because I'm trying not, to think every not much all, of a, it's I mean, not much of a stretch. It's only 30. I mean, when you look at a lot of the heroes, a lot of the heroes are teens and 20s. I mean... Well, I would only say, let's just go... Well, then I would go 24, 25. I, I would say, like, mid to late 20s, just because, let's just say, if down the line you could have it, that she could have kids. Around 35, you, you start... Just realistically, there's always a chance for problems, retardation, pretty much. And I'm just trying to, not to... But, I mean, is she... What? No, once you start yeah, to hit 35... The older 35, you are. Oh, the older, yeah, the the older, older more difficult more, it is for you to have exactly. a pregnancy. So make her 26 or 27. Yeah. Because I think if you go, you know, because like I said, there's so what many about, heroes that are in their 20s and, and such. I think you don't want to try to... What if you tie it unique. to... Is, this, is it too cliche to tie it to something in her life, like when she got married? Like it zaps her back to... Well, that's what I was thinking, you know. Which then I would go... Then you'd have to go early 20s if right. you're talking about that time frame. Like, you know, most at that time you got married and that's when you lost your virginity and that's the time it... Yeah, you you, you, know. you know, that was your life. Especially for a woman, you know, to have a family. Okay, and well, a I mean, family. it does make sense if we're saying the husband gave it to her in the hopes that she could relive her life. Right. So she reverts back to the point where she was when she more or less ended her life. Or maybe ma- or met him or something. Sacrificed even, her life, so to speak. Right. Maybe she met him at 18. Then I, I can kind of see going teens if she met him when she was 18. Right. Gives it a reason. High school. Okay. Rather than what about what about picking thirty one or? I mean, you, if you look at okay. the mentality at that time, you had kids that got together in their high school or right after high school. But most of the most of the men went to the military because it wasn't a draft thing, but it was more voluntary. But primarily, a lot of the men went in the military. So either they got married right out of high school, or else they got married when they got out of the military. So well, you're you talking, could do that. Maybe it is. Maybe it is attached to when you got married. Maybe it is. You know, the moment that ring went on, whoop. That's so. Maybe she is twenty one or twenty two. What about when so she gets years. married right out of school? She's nineteen twenty. And when she, when they decide or find out that they, if you're going to go with a kid angle, that she can't have kids, which after a couple years of trying back then, they didn't have near the complexity of trying to figure that out. Now it was. You try it for a while, and if it doesn't work, you're kind of screwed. And like that would be 22, 23. Yeah, but that's – how do you pinpoint the date? You know what I mean? It's hard to know when you – Plus, if that's something that's genetic, it's been with her since she's been born. That's right. Yeah. And it's not going to change because – I like the wedding thing. Like yeah. the yeah, moment man. she said – the moment, you know, like boom. 
when so you make which, that and, we'll, and make it like well, something after and that most, was a long kind of engagement or something. Right, because I think uh, yeah. I'd, I'd like to do that, like have him do the military, and maybe have your your two three year stint in the military, which was right puts him at twenty one, twenty two. Was it if it was late fifties, early sixties, eighties? He was he, that he was doing that. There really wasn't. No, there was no conflict going on. But I mean, then, Korea was, was ending at that war. time, so I mean, he wasn't involved in Korea, and it was too early for Vietnam. So you're avoiding all that. But baloney. back, but back then even didn't. If you were engaged and you found out you were going in the military for whatever yeah, reason, first. exactly, so you got all the benefits thereafter. No. Maybe he maybe he proposed to her during while he was there. Yeah, I, that, okay. didn't, that didn't always happen. I know a lot of my relatives that, and similar whole, to that time, that didn't didn't get married. They waited until after they got out of the military. The whole wedding thing, you know, you could even be really, you could really tie it all together. You know, she's she's taking a walk on a Saturday afternoon and she's walking past a church where someone's getting married, and that's when she suddenly realizes she's 21 again or something you know she hears yeah she hears that and thinks oh you know, she's watching maybe when. she's just watching a movie on tv or something you don't think she just so wakes up one day the next I th- day i think that would be a neat a, a more exciting well, yeah, angle i think to play. She, she she what happens i mean we have to figure out what happens when she receives this item does it transform her immediately no 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 no, no. so what triggers it she, the anniversary Yes. The anniversary. Of I think their something wedding. like something like her blood like after dry, he passed away. Something right. has to happen yeah. to it. Like that next anniversary after he passed away. After she has it, doesn't do anything. Either the anniversary or like you're walking past the church idea, goes to bed that night and then wakes up. See now you're getting into that big thirteen going on thirty thing. It's like oh well I'm thirteen and oh, I wake up and I'm now I'm somebody different you know and that's yeah. kind of like. But you're doing that no matter what if you're sixty you're not waking. really because I but mean. But if you're talking about waking up spontaneously, well, what about if it's yeah, like see, I don't want to do that a I, reverse oh, 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 aging thing did. where no 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 s- it slowly de ages her like as the days progress she gets younger and younger so that's it's not more of all a progression thing. Well, okay yeah. how about but she's finally done de aging on their wedding anniversary. Nah, see, I, I, I don't know. It, to me, the the whole anniversary thing or something like that isn't, isn't enough. Isn't doesn't mean anything to me to trigger. But it would to her if if that was when she considered her life over after reviewing her life after all these years. But see, I look at it as like the artifact or whatever it is, the alien technology or whatever we decide to do with it. Does uses that wow. as a point for herself because that would be ingrained in her DNA. Doesn't mean that she has to do a go to a wedding or, or have that to stimulate what's going on, to me that, that would no, automatically... No, I'm not saying it has to have anything. I'm just saying it's just... I'm almost more intrigued by Matt's dramatic. idea about doing the kind of the slow... Not slow aging, but a slower process. Right. No, I agree. But I'm saying... Yeah, at the and end it, of that it takes days rather than now overnight like the kind next of thing. anniversary or whatever. You know, that it takes, it takes some time. John? And I kind of think... thoughts? <laughs> I think the anniversary thing sounds too hokey. Yeah, see, that's what I think, too. Jamie? You gotta have a little bit of hokey in superhero comics. Mm. So. She's de aging. How hokier can you get? Oh my god! <laughs> and and is what happens to the husband then? He dies before she actually yeah. goes oh, yeah. back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's that's a death. She, I think. Okay. she gets it as a result even, of him dying. It doesn't even start uh, taking effect on her until, until after he passes after away. He's passed away. Okay, yeah. good. I'm just trying to clarify so we yeah, know sure. so I can keep you know. You know, we're gonna be re-listening to this episode and then writing notes down. So she goes back to 21, is that what we're saying, or 22? I would say 21 because you yeah. want to make her an adult, and you don't want, you right. know. Oh, you don't I can't go to a club. I can't go to a club. Well, that, that, that's yeah. the whole thing. You know, I, I, right. I, you know, she suddenly goes into drinking. Yeah, you don't want to get not... into that teen animosity angst kind yeah. of crap because there's no. too much of that going on, too. And the best ex- Although, ex- if we make her 22, then she goes back 40 years, and it could be a nice even number. I like 22. Also, this is going to sound really weird. My dad always said... Anything with multiple twos was lucky, like double twos, triple twos. Oh, there you go. So it adds something. Oh, There's a lost thing into it. The numbers. Yeah, Forty two yeah. is the the key to life. The key to life, and <laughs> <laughs> the answer to life. Is it the answer to life or the yeah, key? Yeah, to answer. Answer. The answer to life. Okay. I didn't see that episode yet. All right. No, you. But that's a running lost. theme in the whole. Oh, 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 oh. Hitchhiker's Guide. Well, Hitchhiker's that's guy. what I thought, but then. All right. So what lost. powers does she get? That's the fun part. She, she has the powers <laughs> of the seven continents. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Just the powers cool. of Gaia. <laughs> Isn't that what they call Mother Earth? Gaia. 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 Well, now what do you want to do? Do you want to do mythological? Do you want to do alien? Well, we don't. Do you want to do? I think that. I think that is something sh- that she will learn as time goes on. Yeah, yeah. because then that lets you let the story. Progress. Right. So that way, it, it's a progression for the and a journey for the right. reader as well as the character. I mean, part of me is almost thinking, but we, I mean, you can't do it. But part of me is also all, to do that Pulp Fiction thing where you don't even see the goddamn thing. Like it's literally like you never see what it is. And 
you, you know, but I, I, like I know that. you can't do that, but I, I mean, no, I, I like that. I, because the object what do you mean itself, you don't see the you... object itself is immaterial. It's he the, gives her right. a box that's wrapped up, and she, she opens looks it. And at she it. looks in and goes, "Oh, it's uh, so beautiful," and you don't actually see it like, because the the object is is immaterial. It's because our point, point of this story powers. is that she's an older woman who be, who gets to live her life. Like that's really you know you key. don't have to see, but you're still going to have to define. What exactly is going to happen to her? You can't just. Yeah. It can't be one. I I don't want to see one of those where, you know, she's. You know, each day she's discovering something new. I, I'd rather see well, one yeah. or two powers, uh, you know, super strength, invulnerability, something. Uh, but I I don't want to get into the whole Ralph. Greatest American hero where he doesn't know exactly how it works. No no no. no, see, no that's, but that goes like back that. to what we said before where. It's it gives her the powers right away, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Right, like it's not a new thing. Like yeah, maybe I mean, she. You takes... don't have to see exactly what gave her the powers, and that's fine with me. But you still have to define and tell them, tell me a little bit where they came from. You don't have to show me exactly what, what was in the box. You don't have to show, you know, because you didn't see what exactly was in the box. And we're talking the Pulp Fiction thing, but it's still, it, it, you still need a, a concrete. This is what. You know, well, yeah, you do some little yeah. thing. It's glowing at night or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, whatever. Because the thing you know, I like I about that is, eventually down the road, maybe somebody does a research and goes, back in 400 AD, there was this thing, da 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 da, and then you realize, oh my God, it's that thing. Yeah. Right. You know, you it's, know, it's, maybe it's, it's a plot it's, point down the road. Yeah, exactly. Like, and then and mm-hmm. then it ties into a whole other I, thing. Like, you know, well, as far as powers go, I want to get away with. I want to do something unique. So yes, for I me, agree. I think a power. One of the powers, I think, I don't know. It's, wait, it's coming wait, wait, I'm going to go even more superficial before we do this because we'll be on this forever. What color hair does she have? Red. 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 Wow. Okay. Red. I was thinking blonde at brunette. first, but, but I always... <laughs> I was thinking brunette, too. Yeah, I like... <laughs> I think blonde's overdone. Yeah. What if she's blonde and becomes a brunette? Or... Fiery or <laughs> redhead Irish I don't know. I mean, well, I was... Who's out there? Yeah, I guess it's stereo- Look who's out there. Supergirl. Blonde. Wonder Woman. Black. Black uh, Canary. Blonde. blonde. Well, she was black. Enough. Black yeah. Widow, red. Black Widow, red. Spider um, Woman, two, red. Spider Woman, one, black. Batgirl. Um, red. Batgirl, red. Oracle. Who's out there now? Who's out there right now? I'm giving you them. <laughs> Spider uh, Woman, two's not out there still, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Julie Carpenter. I mean, I don't, they, they've not done anything with her lately, but right. she's been. She was. Oh, well, she was in. Uh, so, is there any brown? We haven't been hearing brown. No brown. Jessica brown? Drew is brown. I mean, no. Jessica, Jessica, Jones. Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Actually, Jessica Drew is brown. Yeah. She but dyed the, her hair black. What about if she has... No, nah, I was going to say shave her hair, but that's... No. <laughs> no. It would be something different. It would be unique. I don't want, to, to, to <laughs> I don't want Sinead that. O'Connor. She could keep the white hair of an old woman. That could be the only Ooh, trait of like, her that stays with her. Like Felicia. Because my... Uh, I dated a girl whose mom had all white hair by the time she was yeah, 20. Did you see younger girls with white hair? That's freaky. <laughs> Well, I'm just, it's an interesting thing. That's not to say she couldn't dye it, but, but I mean, like, right. her hair could actually stay white. Which makes it unique, then, too. Exactly. Or gray. I mean, it could be gray, not white. Or well, whatever, see, I would think know. I would go more of the lungs and the white, because that's more kind of majestic kind of... Like um, Silver Sable type of thing? And then she dyes it to keep... A storm. Undercover, so to speak. Storm. Yeah, Storm. I don't know. Yeah, we'll let that go. Yeah. We'll let that oh, go. Oh, the guy's like, let's go super fish. <laughs> <laughs> I bring it up, now I let it go. But I was thinking of, along the lines of some sort of control-type power, like almost like a catalytic control kind of power, whereas if you look at it, like every th- almost everything that takes place in life is some, some form of a catalytic conversion. Like firing a gun is a catalytic conversion because it takes kinetic energy to fire, you know, to ignite the compound, which projects the bullet, which, you know, it's, so it's all... So she can actually cut off that kinetic... I mean, that uh, catalytic... Point. So she can, you know. So I mean, I think it's something unique that gives her powers that she can learn to do all kinds of things with, which makes it really kind of interesting and unique. Because rather than just like, oh, well, I have magnetic powers or I'm super strong, you know, this is something that she has to learn. And the more she learns, the more things she can do. And it's really kind of all-encompassing because basically everything in life is some sort of catalytic conversion. So it's like something that she could end up, you know. Like she could stop an atomic bomb from going off because she could stop the whole catalytic process from it exploding. But what? How does that internalize? Because I mean, that's that's like. Well, because you know it, depending, what, I mean? like what it doesn't matter does if you're going fly? with. Well, if it, well, but I mean, that's something that she could do. She blocks out gravity or something like that. Right. 
So, I mean, there's, there's ways that you can work, utilize that for many of things. It's just one power, but there's so many things you can do with it. Now, does, know, but she, does a woman, a, a 60-some-year-old woman who, has a, who had sort of a sheltered life, that's a hell of a lot of research. Well, but what, think about it. What Other else than you, it being an instinctual What else would she have to power? do, though? Her husband's gone. She has, she has all her life to herself. I know if I found out that I had powers and I had to learn to use it. Like, I always thought, like, if Molecule Man, you know, and he got powers to control all the molecules. Well, if I had that power, I'm studying all the goddamn science books I can to find out how many molecules and how to make different types right. of molecular structures and stuff like that. So, to me, that gives her motivation. It shows character motivation. It shows her something she's got to learn. It's just not something that just happens for her. The power's there, but she has to learn how it physically works on different objects, on different things. Um, I don't know. I just think that something like that would be more unique than giving her like super strength, super speed. Yeah, I, I'd like to stay away from just. You have to have a few default. Invulnerable. Well, yeah, situation. of course. Well, the I default is is ignorance. In essence, you know, she gets in certain circumstances, she could try to think her way out of it, and it might work. Sometimes she might, you know, I have no idea how to stop this. What do I do? You know, and then if something happens, and it's like, well, shit, now I, I, I could have stopped that, but I didn't know. So it's like she could, you know, take the old guilt wrap on herself and go like, shit, now I gotta, I gotta spend more time and be more serious about learning about this because I could have done something to prevent that. And I, if, if I knew how a gun worked, I could have stopped exactly. that guy from shooting. So someone. that gives her, that gives her motivation. There's more drive. There's initiative in that character, and gives her. You know, I can already see her secret hideout becomes the library where she has to <laughs> spend half her time reading well, books. And actually, that goes with what Shane was said in the beginning about the Batman driven is whenever he has a mistake or something that he, he's like, you know, you idiot, you should have known this, he'll go back and make sure he, he knows it for the next exactly. time that occurs. Exactly. I mean, and, and it's, it's on a level that you don't have to, she doesn't have to know pure science and, and, you know, every aspect of it. It's just a matter of awareness, so to speak. That is, she opens up her mind and realizes that, you know, you can think things through. Your own intuition will help guide you to what you could do. You know what I mean? So it's not like she has to become a super brain like Reed Richards or anything like that. It's just a matter of her researching, learning about it, experiencing things that allow it to progress for her and make the power that much more important and, and uh, powerful for her, so to speak. John? <laughs> See, I always go to the quiet ones because they're listening. You know, and I'm not that I'm not either. But I mean, you're re you know, like so. What do you think about you're that? Too busy drawing yeah. wieners. <laughs> I'm drawing our character. <laughs> no, I mean, I I agree with Kevin. What Kevin's saying. All right, uh, Jamie. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that power. Um. Uh, uh, it does seem a little vague to me. It's I'm a vague now, so the... that's why I'm trying to you know see if we can get some more insight. But see, I kind of look at it no matter which way you go, whether you go mystical, magical. Uh, alien, anything like that would be something that you could gain from any one of them because if well, you go, I'm not if worried you, about the if you, how you got it, because I mean it's all fake. No, it's so not. It a, it's really not matter. a how you got it. I'm saying what what happens is if you do ever determine what the origin of this is, you can explain it in any aspect because an alien race, they always, you know, it's always stereotyped that they're far more advanced than we are, so they would know more about things and have more control over things because they wouldn't be so hindered by their own so here's, ego and such. And you could do it the same thing with ancient races because they weren't hindered by all the, the materialism and all the stuff that, you know, we've kind of de degressed as human beings rather than, you know what I mean? So there's lots of ways that you can work that angle and, and, and allow the power to be a natural occurrence from whatever origin source if you ever did to it. So here, and here's my, but here's my thing. Like, uh, okay, the, the de-aging thing can't be the only thing that this thing provides, right? Right. So what about her personality or her wishes makes it a, uh, attach to her and give her basically what she wants? You know what I mean? So if she's, also, if she's becoming young, there's got, I, I think there's got to be something also about her personality that that's why it, it's, it's attracted to her. And that gives her certain abilities. So, you know, like we did that whole thing about what's your superpowers. And most, you know, somebody said flight and invisibility and telekinesis and da 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 da, -da. And it's like what I, I still go – I guess I'm still looking for like a, a, a the, the default power, you know. Um, hey, I'm Terry Scheibel over here. I need to eat. What the Jesus. hell? Um, 
I keep, I keep understand asking what I'm saying? Who, who invited him? I keep asking you. You know what I mean? Like, like, I think that it has to... There has to be a reason. Yeah, it has to be a reason why it worked for her. And, like, I, like I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying about the powers, but I think there's still got to be, like, some kind of default... See, I, I kind of look at it I'm, – I'm not even eliminating any of that. I, I think it would work on anybody because it's, it's a manifestation because it's all it's, – it, it, But it, it didn't work on the husband. Well, I, see, I never, I never wanted to play that angle. Female. I wanted him to learn about Maybe it. Maybe it only works for female, yeah. Oh, that's true too. I wanted him to learn about it, but I never wanted him to. Maybe it only works for the barren female because yeah. in her, the prophecy is oh she's going to have. Oh my god! <laughs> that's it. I'm buying Marvel again. For <laughs> no, I mean, I, there's I, another important question. Who's going to publish it? DC we are. Marvel. <laughs> we are. I was. Um, see, I kind of. I, I, I don't. Jamie, you're going to say something. Say right. something. Let, let, let Jamie say. Yeah, no. I. I was just. I was thinking that is the motivation. It is. This gift is. It wants to be, I won't say self-perpetuating, but it wants to, it, cl- it, it ties all into her being able to stop these things. I like, I love that aspect. I love that she is able, her power is able to stop things from happening, stop tragedies from happening, stop, you know, and, and this, she'll be drawn to things like this. She doesn't know why she's there, but all of a sudden stuff will be happening that she'll have to stop it. I like that. And I'm also thinking maybe this is something that they want to, you know, they want her to have experience life, have another, have, and and have a child who she then can pass this to, and keep going. And it just has never gotten into the right hands of somebody. You know, a woman has just never had or been in possession of this object. It was never given to her, and this, in giving it to her as the husband gave it to her. This object decided it was going to de-age her, give her that second chance, because that's all she's ever wanted. She's wanted a family. And she's had her husband, and her husband was her family. Now that, that family's been taken away, and it's decided that you know, she's worthy. She is able to have children, but it's, just, it's giving her that chance. It's giving her it, it, you're working on the theme of a second chance, uh, you know, a theme of life, a theme of... Uh, some regret. And, yeah, and then, and then the power is to stop. You know, she's able to stop tragedies from happening somehow. And I'm not, you know. See, I would, I would almost think then it should be the reverse. Right. I if, was her, if, her whole, cons- if her whole thing is she wants to create life, then she shouldn't stop things. She should make things happen. Not just then, in the right but direction. Then, but then what does that do for her circumstances and or situations? Or stop tragedies. I mean, she's, she's drawn to situations <clears throat> where well, but, well, I mean, if she stops this tragedy – then it's going to go on, but you know it's it's one of those. If the tragedy happens, somebody will die. That eventually will go on to do something. Wait, you mean she like, doesn't know what that is, but she just knows shut up she's. <laughs> she's just known she's drawn to this. She has to stop it, but she doesn't know why. She still that she doesn't, and eventually down the road you can find out what's behind it, who's doing this, what the mo- total motivation. I got the perfect and maybe, title, and maybe you don't quantum leap second chance. And maybe you don't oh. have that, you know. Uh, you see, and I think, and if not the answer. title, that's the first story. See, like story you're line, saying, Jamie, chance. I kind of agree with because I think even though I used it as an example as catalytic control to stop things from happening, I'm talking and using it as a power kind of thing. But you're limiting it because with catalytic control, she can also make things happen. Mm-hmm. Like she can do something that would, you know, still, it, it, it's either way. It so works either way. Is that a superhero named Catalyst? No, there is a catalyst. Yeah, there was yeah. one of those dark horse things. Right? That was a team, I think. So I kind of think, I think, I kind of think along those lines Blue because you can't series. limit yourself to just saying, well, like she can stop a bomb from blowing up. She can stop a. Or she can start the car that didn't start. That, that right, exactly. Pumped out on the railroad tracks. Right. She, she doesn't have to go down and pick start. it up or push it out of the way. But she then can, she would, ha- she would have to have the foresight. This thing would give her the foresight at that moment. Or, but like, yeah, the, well, the, well, like the I said, I, I was crashing, and she's on the plane, and all of a sudden she's like, I really don't want to die. I want these engines to start. Boom, the engines start up. and But it's, it was for another reason that she may not know, and that you as a reader may find out. She may walk off, and you don't, and you see the storyline. You don't know why. She doesn't know why she did it. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we just fried Mike. Ele- Electro just came in. <laughs> <laughs> we just fried Matt. <laughs> Oh. Spider-Man. <laughs> John, but, what do you think? But, you know, as a story, you don't – she doesn't know, but you as a reader know why she did it. Go, John. 
Give us some thoughts. I'm not hearing a lot of talk about the power of the seven continents. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell here? <laughs> read, here between, read between the lines. <laughs> but, but wait, not, not to criticize anything, but isn't that kind of she's there for a reason, but she doesn't know why because, say, if she stops... I don't like that whole angle. No, this, I don't either. This plane from crash and this will happen. Isn't that it's kind of like quantum predetermined, leap predestined where he would jump into I want bodies? It to be I, I want to be, be more natural. Old fashioned superhero, supervillain fighting, you know, natural. rather than her. But see, now my question to that though is then obviously, and it's a story point, but then what motivates her to become yeah, a hero? There's really no motivation at all. Not really. I mean, I would why being young just to be any, young. What motivates anybody to be a hero? Yeah, yeah, but because I had the opportunity to do so. Right, but you have to. She never got out. She was. She was. So you're going to become sheltered. a hero? <laughs> no, oh, but I'm listen, saying she, 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 she has an whore. opportunity. She does it one time. She she's somewhere and she doesn't plan to be a hero. She does it one time, after being young with whatever power, and decides, hey, you know what? I never got out. I could do this. I could do this. This this. See, my is, my thing is I is I love the Starman way of for our for like if you're going to go with somebody who has like a second chance or something like that, I uh, I think the hokiness is being a hero like that in issue two. But like if you go the Starman route where it's a slow process, and if you want to add that whole thing about she can kind of – not a premonition, but there's something about certain – or there's – It's like an awareness. Like start, like start up things. Then you can get very like kind of human stories where she's not being a superhero. She's just in a restaurant. And she meets somebody who's down and out in their luck, and she's able to kind of kickstart their life The way by, hers was. No, not not necessarily, but like by the way she is able to help them just from like talking or da 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 da. da you know what I mean? Like something about it's not a, it's not a thing where you know she's giving her the person powers, but that like an like a side effect, like a like like radiation aura. for lack of a, yeah aura for you know that that's she's able to do that as well. Like not only did the device work for her, but now. Maybe it starts with her and wants to branch out, and until she has kids, this is the way she branches out, branches out into other aspects. I don't know what like, the hell you're talking about. It, it's it like nudges, reverse nagging is what he's getting It at. nudges other people in the right direction. It's a potential thing. It's a, it, she's able to affect potential. <laughs> but nobody cares. But this is think the thing you're talking about, about creating life. That's what I'm talking about. Like, this is a way that she's able but to it's create boring. things. But. I don't think it is. I think you would get different kind of stories. I out want of superheroes and supervillains fighting out well, in the middle of the I, I street. Well, I still, but, okay. Then by it sounds like comics. something I'd see in life. I need a motivation then why she becomes a hero. Because just there saying, I'm much. young and, and that's I can not do it. enough. That's not enough. No. It needs to be, are you agreeing with me? Or you not? No, I'm definitely yeah. agreeing with you. I, 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 I don't want a comic book that's just superheroes and supervillains battling it out. Right, that's, we got a female character, so you, we you should gotta, run you, with it. You need some depth with it, and you need some... I don't disagree with you, but I mean... That's deep. You know. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. What are you, Matt? Now, just <laughs> <laughs> gonna say, is it that side of the room? I am spreading. I mean, I don't disagree with you like because I don't want to rely upon the whole base of the character is the powers. Right, because the again, it goes of, back right. to the idea that she's a young old woman who becomes young. That's so. What would somebody like that, who has lived through wars, who has lived through September 11th? All right, now that I can see, you know, that kind of stuff is. Affecting her, like, you know, now I have the chance to do something, but I think there's still – how do we get to that point? Uh, you, know, you know, like, at the end of two issues, does she become the hero, or the end of 12 issues, does she become the hero? You know what I'm saying? Six. See, I, I don't want to drag it out long. too far because then you're going to lose – you're going to make it too boring for the reader and they're going right, to lose that, interest. That would be issue two with what we're going so far. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean – I can see where you're going with it, but you you got to really be careful with that. Right, right. I, it, I mean, it's not. I don't think it's an instant thing. I don't think it's a gradual no. thing. I think there's some something. The motivation. I mean, I look at it like the way Mike Rell did John Sable. See, I got that right. It wasn't Mark Sable. Um, <laughs> is Mark that he, you know you like you had your first issue, which was like introduces a Mark, character Mark, Mark. and has a whole scenario. Like the character already exists, and you get to see what she can do, so kind of thing, and then it leads into her her whole story. You know what I mean? So that way you're kind of starting off with something that gets your blood pumping. And then the story takes place from present time, but she can, it kind of tells the story as she's progressing herself and whatever else you decide to do with... So you're saying we find out her origin in flashbacks? Or? Not so much flashbacks, but I mean, it's, you're going along the progress of the journey of the character. So I mean... Yeah. But I'm saying you could kind of start out seeing her in action, so to speak... And then 
Because I, I don't want to rely just on flashbacks. Yeah, because yeah, that's. But I, you could kind of have it like something uh, like it's early on when she's first using her abilities, so she's still learning of how they work, what they do, and actually what uh, what limitations or non limitations it has as far as affecting other people or affecting their lives or changing their own catalytic aspects of their life, so to speak. I you just know keep what I mean? Picturing a mechanic and a catalytic converter on some well, old isn't car. It a catalyst? <laughs> is that, isn't that the, the actual word? Catalyst, catalyst is that's what we said earlier. Right. It's yeah. a catalyst. It's catalytic control. I mean it's it's because everything is a catalyst. It's it's a it's a, I mean a, see now that to me also kind of suggests fortune and luck and and I don't know if we want to go with that. Post well, no, it's not like bad of, luck or anything like that. I don't want to look at it that way right. because it's not it's not that type of a thing because you, whatever origin again you're taking this is, whatever it is, whether it's alien, you know, ancient or mythical or whatever, they don't rely on luck. Well, you know almost... what I mean? So it's not something that I don't even want to go into luck. It's more the fact that maybe she can change, you know, she can change a, a thought in a person. You know what I mean? She can help. That's what I was trying to say. Well, I'm just trying to <laughs> embellish on what you are saying. But I don't right. want to make it so that she's sitting there like a counselor. I don't counselor want to read her own comic. <laughs> I'd almost like to read, see we don't want to read your a own situation comic. where, you know, she gets the – She's young again. Doesn't know she has these powers. Not that she's, she, you know, she was very shy before. Now all of a sudden she's a supermodel where she's, you know, realizes she has a sexy body and stuff. I'd almost like to see it start off for a while where she's the exact same person she was, and then maybe she meets, starts a good friend, and they're like, you know what? Why don't we go to a nightclub? And then she's, she gets this. She starts to realize, you know what? I'm having a second chance in life. I don't want to live the same life I did before where I was very shy. I would stay home at night. I'm gonna try. Going out there, being more outgoing, and then kind of as she starts to realize that section of life, that's kind of when the powers start to to develop. Where she realizes, you know what? Not only am I, I young, and by making these different choices of not being so, is it introverted? Where you're introverted, introverted, okay, yeah. where you're introverted, and then by being more outgoing, she kind of realizes that she also has these other abilities as well. See, now here's my thing logistically: she's a young woman. She's got to get a new driver's license. She's got to get well, a identity. job. Hmm? She'd almost have to get a new identity. Her social security and is a for a 62-year-old woman. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of little things there. Like, how do we wrap around our head around that whole mess? Well, I mean, you could. You, there's a couple ways you could go about it. One, you could do it that she doesn't need any of that. But she's got to live. She's got to function she in could society. Be, she could be her own self for... In well, other words, if, she, if she's, she can, if she she's this character, she's this hero, that's who she is. She doesn't have to have a secret identity. Yeah, I'd almost, or, I would almost say no costume at all. Well, I would say if you're going to do a costume, I would, could, I would keep... No, well, I don't yeah. mean that, but I mean just like... I'm telling you, we have to have a costume. <laughs> I'm just doing like street clothes. Whatever she's wearing, that's what she is. I'm telling you, we have to have a costume. <laughs> something something. I don't think you can get away with... But I wouldn't go... I wouldn't... Um, go ahead. What, what, what you were saying about... She doesn't need a secret identity. Like she has well, to like, have. She has to. She has to go. See, to I think that's where something that she always wanted to do before she got married comes into play, and she goes back and does that job, whatever that is, whether it be. But again, you still have to have a social security, and this is for a sixty-two-year-old woman. Okay, well, I mean, but you when you, but when you the give social security lawyer, your social security number, it doesn't have your age. It, on yeah, it. they don't look that up. It, yeah, but I. But it's still. Sixty-two-year-old people work. I mean. Trust me, I look at a lot of social security numbers. There's always issued this time, but this number is also so associated with this person as See? well and this person. See? Yeah, so, but so, so what? There's always that if it's issued in 19-something-something, something, yes, but, what I'm, yeah, but on she's only 62. No, but what I'm saying yeah, is card, your social security number, if I ran a database search on you, right. I bet I could find one or two other people that that number is associated with, but that's not going to show me when that's issued. Pretty much someone probably stole your social security number and was using it. And that's why their name's coming up associated with it. But so there's well, they that just vagueness. randomly put down that number. Yeah, or it could have been a typo. Maybe you you were writing somebody was writing it down from you as you were saying over the phone or whatever. And rather than end in nine six and ended in theirs is supposed to be six nine, but they have and yours is supposed to be nine six. So if they someone transposed else, it, yeah, they transposed it. So now. Jack, because I, I mean, I looked at you know, like when you when you get credit reports, your your date of birth is on your credit. Well, sure. Well, what what is wrong with her creating a whole new life for herself? She doesn't even need money. But how? 
Why yeah, did she need money? Because no, her husband just died and had an insurance policy, and plus she's, she's getting she social security. She cashed it out. Plenty of money. Yeah. But, but even why if did she, she have such a miserable life? <laughs> it's not that she has I'm a miserable life. I'm just playing no, devil's advocate. No one ever life. said she has a miserable life. Well, she, she, just, she, very, she just did just regret. She, she had a very, life that maybe she had a very she reserved life. It was a tragic life. There's a difference between being reserved and being miserable. Just playing devil's advocate. No, I know. But now with, like, say, the social security thing, you can still go get a job at 62. You can still do whatever you want it does not matter you know most people if you're good at something they don't have to know that you're 62 on your social security number they're just going to plug it into their computer for your paycheck that's it Mm -hmm. they're going to pay their taxes to the government but they always ask your date of birth yeah so she just keeps so she makes a fake one up and it's so you just lie and it's still going to be like message it's just going to associate i think think there's something in that though that you don't want to easily discard i think there is something to that well why don't we get into why don't you ever see peter parker go to the bathroom while we're at it yeah that's a total pop a plot point like brian said you know you can go into yeah there's yeah you can really delve into that and really kind of you know because no one's going to see that as a red flag when they just say oh somebody typoed the wrong year that's it yeah. No one's going to really worry about that. Not too to mention all her friends and everything that, you know, now we're going to see her as a young woman. It's like, how is she going to yeah. explain that? Yeah. Well, see, that's what I kind of think. Of. What would you do? Well, you know, look at it as yourself. I, if that would happen to you, would I you like, still hang around with the same friends? And I like, well, first of all, I like Shane's idea where he said she goes to do whatever she wants to do, so she just moves. Yeah, she to somewhere away, where whatever it away. is that she her, has to right, do right. what she her wants life, to do. She had something I see her starting up a whole new life. Right. Just, because that's how I, that's how, you know, I'm just yeah, doing something she wanted to do bef- that she thought she could do when she got married. And it just never worked that way. Right. She ended up having a husband who was very traditional. They stayed home. Not a bad life, just and you could And you could even make that the catalyst for the thing actually working. Yeah. The fact that she, she you know, her husband finally passes away. He gave her this thing. She's decided, okay, I want to at least try to experience life. I'm going to go out. And as she moves, she moves away, she leaves all her friends, and then as she starts her new life, wherever she starts it, then suddenly she starts becoming younger and younger and younger right. and younger. So yep. she can and still then, correspond with her old friends, uh-huh. Seattle. but they don't have to see her. Yeah, she's, she's away from them, right? but she can still say, you know, But hey, then she's got to move again because where she moved to, they saw her as one age, and now she's... No, they, they wouldn't no. know you. Are you kidding me? Somebody, I, I, somebody, somebody who lives in a house like this comes and goes, you don't ever see you you maybe see your neighbors all of a sudden you know if it's a progression over a couple days but if she's going out sudden, to experience life and she meets some guy oh come this is a the, comic we can but know, see now that. these see now this is but, but this I don't is understand what you're still again. a plot this point for later on it has well, nothing still, to do with but her but I mean, I'm tell, right trust me i'm telling you you wouldn't believe how many neighborhoods they go into and you ask does this person live here i don't know i, I just no see someone i'm not talking about that i'm talking about you're talking about she's going to start a new life right she's not going to start a new life alone i mean she she's going to want to make why not she was because your whole point was that she was alone when she was married no 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 she wasn't alone when she was married she had certain things she couldn't do when she was married she never had a chance to be alone she had yeah exactly so she starts up you know you know her she's going to be alone even more to live in an apartment because you've never had a chance to live i'm saying she goes out and that it's not, it, it's not a factor of being it. alone or not being alone. It's a matter of quality of life. No, no but see, what, I'm, I, but what you're saying is she moves away, she starts to who not. But uh, even on the life. day that she moves away, it starts triggering okay, itself. Okay, so how so long is it starts, taking until she gets... You, we've already said two to three days. Two to three days? Or a week. I don't yeah. care. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I thought we were doing longer than yeah, that. Yeah, so no. did I. That's I my thought point. we were doing a couple months. It doesn't no. matter. I mean, it, that, again, that's a technicality. That and I in a couple really months, you're going to meet friends, and if she wants to start I don't think a it should job, be a couple months. Let's get on. We're moving. We're I, running out of time. I know. I'm just, I'm just, you got to look at that. That's issue three and four or whatever. Or even eight and nine. Stories in the comic where you have to create the character first. And so far, Brian, I haven't got past the first issue. Yeah, well, you read Identity Disc, so shut That's up. That's true. That That's sucked. True. And you <laughs> wanted to buy it. That's the whole yeah. thing. You wanted to buy I remember I paid it. full price for that, too. Oh. <laughs> so why are we even listening mistake. to him? Um, anyway. I think if, when she moves away, she's going to do whatever she is. It's on the plane, and that's when it starts. It goes for a few days. If you want to do months, like Brent said, that's a later plot point. However it is. I mean, again, that's... But I think that's it's a, an important plot point. Well, it is, but we can determine <laughs> that later. That I know. I'm right just now. throwing it out there. How about a yeah, name? Yeah, Are we yeah, supposed yeah. to figure out a but name? But I'm saying that she... I, I agree that she moves away, starts a new not, life somewhere else. I, I'm just not convinced yet that... That this is the perfect... This is, this is very super heroic. Right. I didn't want to create an indie book. I wanted to create a superhero book. Like, that was uh, the whole okay. point I mean, I'm still not we were, sold on the whole she was old and she become young again. I mean... I like that part, but I just want her to be a freaking superhero. Right. You know, 
I mean, a superhero book would be she yeah, well, inherits something and she be, and gets, gets power. She's 22 to begin with, and boom, she becomes a superhero. Yeah. Like that. You yeah, know, the whole that would age be a superhero thing book. is kind of... No, I don't want... Because it's, I think you're limiting yourself. I think you're... I mean, I still like... She can be old and come young, but then she has to be a, like a kicking ass superhero. Like for the discussion that we had, right. that's what our goal was. Let's create a Marvel superhero right. that goes around... And if you're and, talking you know, that way, then my the easiest answer to that is she's already in a here in a universe that uh, okay, already you, has you, you superheroes want that? Yes. in it. Yeah. You yes. want that? He's bitten by a radioactive flea. <laughs> she becomes flea girl. No, 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 no. We girl, a, we're on a good start. We just need tits. to give her Don't powers. Yeah, you got to give her the big tits. See? Absolutely yes. not. No. no. So, I mean, the obvious easy answer is that there's already superheroes in the world. Well, sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You see, I, if, so, I mean, I want a Marvel, I want, becomes, if I want a Marvel book... I want Marvel to finally come into the adult books, the Vertigo book, and give me a more mature book right. That's that what I can sink my teeth into. Right. I, you know I don't what? a Star Man know, book. There are plenty of right. kick-ass characters out there. Right. This it's almost has to go into it. my favorite hero but I, movie. But I think a Star Man book is the whole purpose of what our you know, and we have things uh, that yeah. we've planned. And that we can't reveal yet that you're screwing the whole thing up by creating. <laughs> yeah, well, this that's real what you wacky. do. That's what happens when you uh, keep secrets from all. I, this, I so. like Brian's idea that it has to be a superhero. I like Peter's idea, and I agree with it that it, if it's more like a Starman Vertico-ish book, it is very easily um, superhero-ish with a generational thing. She can be older, she can be younger, she can inherit something, she can be given an object. It it all works well, with and, that and kind a, of a in book. In a world that that has superheroes, what's it's your greatest wish to be a, a superhero. superhero? Right. And it's something so, that I mean, she, there's your motivation. It's a very shallow one, but there you have it. Well, yeah. And that's I okay. Mean, right. Maybe that was her dream as a kid. I mean, it's, it could be that simple. Yeah. And because she couldn't have kids. and this She doesn't have to be a one-dimensional superhero. Not. She can still be dynamic, but sure. she can still be an ass-kicking superhero sure. because maybe that's what she wants to be. Yeah. Maybe in this world, if Phil was a superhero, every night... You know, when her husband was in the den studying about this artifact, she, she was, was watching the Entertainment Tonight that was all about superheroes, right. and she was reading the 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 Inquirer about superheroes. Maybe that was her obsession. Right. right. Maybe she was very, you know, as she got older, she was very oriented in the community and stuff like that, where she always wanted to help people, and this kind of gave her the ability to to do that more so to do that more so than just well, may, and, and again, tie it all together. Maybe she she volunteered for some place that went around and helped. The people whose homes got destroyed because the, the superhero superheroes. fight yes. happened, and she right. was volunteer giving out blankets and giving canned goods or whatever, and that's how. And now, she can be a superhero. Yes. And it I just took us it. an hour and a half to get to that. I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. But you know what? We got to get through now, what, that stuff to, to what's find your out name? What, what we really want to do. Well, yeah. You got. You can't just think. Okay. Sure, she's sure. Just, but know, that's blah, blah, blah. the process. That's the whole thing. That's it's right. Gonna, you know, it is a process. That's why. Okay. Name. And as and as you start writing the character, things are going to change. Name. Name. Ooh, I don't. I don't, I don't hear this yet. enough. I know. I know it ties to me personally, and I'm going to be selfish saying it. But Kelly. Oh, you mean real name? Yeah. Oh, I was oh superhero name. Superhero name. I have no clue. about I don't think we're even at that. point. Yeah, we're not at that point yet. We have to. Uh, and who says it has to be anything that forty? I don't think Kelly was a really popular name. Right, uh, it would add more uniqueness to her. What's it matter? Well, again, she's starting a new a life. So, popular name. Would she start? Yeah. Would no, she I mean, like a name you were born with, though. Yeah, see, that's the thing you have to look at. Yeah, too. a name you were born with. Why she's saying, well, in other words, he's if saying, he's like, born in nineteen forty, I don't think there were a lot of Kellys born in nineteen forty. Okay, right. So I know what you're saying. You want it unique, but I mean, forty-three, nineteen forty-three. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there were. I don't know. I didn't, but I mean, I know that's very. You know, like Wendy didn't come around Maybe until Peter Pan. Maybe takes her husband's involved. first name. That could have been one of those Maybe. names that's either or. That's kind right. of a way to, this is his gift, so cool. I'm going to use his first name as my new yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Got What's next? Three minutes left. No. Yeah. Till, 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 um, a minute. No, we have we more. Like a, no, we have more than that. To, we're almost at an hour. As we're just pissing it away, looking to see how many minutes. Right, we no, nine hundred is an hour and a half. Oh, this is an interesting no, 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 no. podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but I mean, I just for say, time purposes. Well, my favorite <laughs> comic movies is Unbreakable, and it's just because it's that. There's no costume. It's just mm-hmm. him. Going Realistic out there. approach. He needs a costume. He doesn't I want need a costume. A flashy name. It's just him. He's doesn't necessarily need a flashy, flashy he's name. But I want a costume. Well, see, and I look at it as going that way with a superhero book. I want a costume. Well, and the thing is, I look at it as. Being who she is, being an older woman becoming young again, doesn't mean she has to go out and wear scantily clad exactly. stuff. I look at her wearing more reserved kind Functional. of... Functional. Yeah, Functional. exactly. 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 Right. exactly. exactly. It yep. can have a flair to it, to but it doesn't have to be... Recognizable features. features. Right. Because I want to do it as a realistic kind of person, not something that has got, you know, double D boobs and... Oh, no. I don't... A 10-inch waist and freaking, you know, all that crap. You know, no. I want to... 
I want something that's realistic. And I think, you know, I, I picture her in something that has a collar, you know, I, that, you know, like a shirt kind of thing. And, and, you know, it's just kind of reserved, but it has some flash to it, some flair to it, something different. I like Peter's title, A Second Chance. And I kind of think if she becomes... It is like the story title. If she becomes... If she becomes young I like again, it as the book, it would is she her look like herself when she was young again? So that, in other words, if she if she plays out the role as a superhero, does she have to hide her identity? Can she just be herself? Does she have to wear a mask? Does she want to wear a mask? Well, it depends. I mean, if we're in this society where there are superheroes, maybe she figures out her powers and wants to, you know, you know, go. Maybe there's a whole bunch of superheroes that you know you can just be a superhero and you know there's yeah. some superhero condo complex where you go move into <laughs> i mean if she well, develops her own her own new identity then you know well but even if even i'm so and so and i'm so i'm this person people so. that see her that are her own age are never going to think oh my gosh here's so and so that i knew 30 40 50 years ago whatever we're saying that's true they're probably you know, because they'd be like oh well she looks like her but how can that possibly be her husband died and right. she disappeared because she's traveling because he had money and that's it well, plus, how many times do people de de age? So you're never right. Right. Think, Wait a minute. I mean, did even in a superhero de-age? world, yeah. Did you de age? Yeah. So I wouldn't worry about that. Because I kind of see her without a mask. I don't see her wearing a mask. I don't. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Uh, I st- I still. I what else really after Peter? I'm really out of. I like Second Chance as the title of the book, more than just an arc. Because then you don't. It, because we haven't thought of a name for her yet. You don't necessarily have to worry about that at the second. Right. That can come in an upcoming discussion. But second chance is the title for the book. It 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 is the whole purpose of her character. And you don't have to limit yourself with a name by going like, oh well, she has catalytic control, so we got to come up with something that you know. Yeah. I actually kind of think it's more unique to come up with just a a cool name. It doesn't have have to have anything, anything to do with your powers. Right. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mephistopheles. <laughs> Rejuvenation. I don't know. All right, Eden. I don't know, just throwing names out there. <laughs> Eden. <laughs> have we and, talked and enough? We have, have, we, have we solidified her powers? Are we? No. <laughs> I'm still vague on that. I believe that is her. That's her name. Well, her well, well Brian, what would you like to see for superpowers? I mean, do you want to go very cliche like flight? No, strength? no, no. I I totally agree that they should be I like unusual. But unique. I I I I'm having a hard time like. You know, visualizing. Her and you know, how do you how do you show that power in a comic? You know what I mean. It, it does need to be visual too. It's a comic book, so how do you? Well, I like see it like if somebody's robbing a bank and she's there, and it's like they have guns, and it's like, this guy's ready to blow this person's head off. Well, you can do like a, a you know, a I look CSI at a CSI type like, of thing. Huh? Where it, a CSI type of thing where it like zooms into the gun barrel and you can see exactly it. yeah like I would that's how I picture it like she's seeing the scene then the next panel you see the gun and you see the thing go click and the guy's like looking at well, why didn't it go off you know and then you kind of see her well, how, how, right. you, well how, how about this now, here's one question that that will that is a is a problem for me is one question well how well, we have stuff time what I may be in that. what's her what's her locomotion. You know, most characters, they either fly or they're strong so they can run and jump. Or, you know, Spider-Man shoots his webs or Daredevil swings around with his billy club or whatever. Like, I mean, I guess there are some, you know, Cyclops or whatever. They just walk around. But it, it seems if, she, if, if her power, if one of her powers doesn't have any visual representation, she should have some way of doing something exciting on the page rather than always standing there. With her arm out and stopping well, here, guns from shooting. Here you go. One of the ways you can show that is through her eyes. Like if she's able to do the things that Kevin's talking about. Her eyes change maybe color. Maybe something or... happens, her eyes, her head, or something like that. And it doesn't, any... it doesn't mean everybody sees that. Hold. Eli. Right, right. <laughs> um, I mean, if it's a cancellation of something, I think the easiest obvious answer is just cancellation of gravity helps her to fly. Yeah. And then, but that's just something she discovers accidentally, right? But but gravity's not a. It's a force. It's a force, but it's not a process. You know, like, you know, a gun. You pull a trigger, which has a hammer, which hits a thing, which ignites a spark, which you you know fires. Well, off then that the is powder. that's the then the question is: Is her things only affecting things mechanical, or no? Is it because just... I mean, it's like you can do like chemical reactions as a catalyst. Right, but that's still that's still a mecha- that's still a physical. It's not a mechanical. It's more of a. It's still a physical thing, though. I mean, like gravity. I mean, if she can suddenly 
control gravity because her power then she's the most powerful person in the entire world because she could just make gravity stop and everyone floats away into well, space and we're all dead what if you take it you just take for granted that superman can fly you don't care how or why so she can either run or she can fly and it, it doesn't matter how right, well, I'm, I'm just saying flying is kind of cliche at this point so is there some reason that she's flying some 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 limitation to her flying, some some something that just... Well, think of it this way. Do the opposite setting. thing of the catalytic control in the positive way that she can create something. I'm not, I, I'm not getting too scientific about it, but she can do something, create a catalytic conversion or a catalytic event that would propel her to fly or would, you know... Or give her a jetpack. <laughs> I Roller thought about boys. that. I did think about that because I always no, like the Rocketeer's like some, design. Is there something, some aspect of her co- if her costume is going to be not the sexy, you know, one piece bathing suit thing, but something else, a little more, you know, is there some aspect of her costume that that helps her to be able to, yeah. you know, move herself around that would be exciting on a printed page, you know? And then who created it? I was going to say, then you get into the whole thing, like, how did she get a jetpack? Because husband a scientist. Well, I'm not saying it has to be a jetpack, but I'm just saying something, somehow... Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, she created. could utilize, learn something that something would help create, and using her ability to create a cat- catalysm would help her to propel herself or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just putting things out there. There's ways that, sh- at this point, just thinking off the cuff like this without actually doing some research and thinking about it, there's, you know... Spider mobile. There's some ways that there's some ways that she might be able to do things that we're not thinking of right now. Yeah, what if I mean like, you know just like she would what if there were other aspects of the whatever it is that gave her the powers is is goes beyond even that. Like what if it gives her more than that? I'm not saying that's the only power right, she exactly, has. That's what I'm is, saying. Like what if she can she can walk she into reflective things and come out of you know, like mirrors and she can or glass or shadows. I, or I know I'd that's almost say not to something completely different you're saying from her other power. Yeah. 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 I would not to be over cliche with this, but since she was able to rejuvenate that, you know, she's not invulnerable, but almost like a Wolverine type of power, she would have that healing factor. Not that she's always going to be that age. She would still age regularly. From that point. Fr- from that point on, it wouldn't be one oh, of these sure, things where sure. it's where she's Logan, where forever, yeah. he looks young forever. But, you know, if you would cut her, she also has that ability to, not right away, but right, right. she could also heal herself. I like, since since there is sunlight, there is light, no matter where you are, there is light. There's very little space that is absolute dark. I like actually going through a shadow or something. Or a door. That's so yeah. To open a, doors she opens or... a door and can, and when she goes through, she can go to any door she wants. Well, see, that is interesting choose. because it has limitations. Yeah. You know, yeah, there are doors everywhere, but you not still... the exact spot that you necessarily want. Not right. like Nightcrawler can just teleport to anywhere. Anywhere. So now we're going into Monsters, Inc., where they just pull up a door. and oh, I didn't you go think into of that. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did. That's why I said it. No. I don't well, like we that. Better, I don't like that. We are almost out of time here, so I guess we should. Yeah. Uh, wow. That took a lot longer than I thought. Oh, I knew it would. Absolutely. I I mean, with this dynamic of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to try to get everybody to agree on things. It's different when you're writing it yourself or nah. have somebody else helping you. But when you have six people trying to collaborate on one like, thing, that's a little different. Is that now the right direction you guys were thinking about discussing this? Yes. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it in a nutshell. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes and no. I'll say that. Yes and no. What 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 is no? What's about? the no? Well, because <laughs> I think like what you said, I, I do kind of agree on like. A, a, I think there's a lot of which is a, which is a good thing and a bad thing, but you know, I think there's a lot to go through before you get to the superhero, and like I know you probably you know we're hoping that the superhero would be there, boom, right away. See, I, my, my, in my brain, I would have started with a superhero, pick cool powers that we like, and work backwards from there because it's all about right. the superhero. Right. I mean, the journey is cool and the backstory is cool, but if you start with the superhero, then you can be forced to be creative about why all these yeah. things happen. And see, and what we have here, we I, would, I wouldn't want that way. I wouldn't want to know the hero first and then learn about it because I think that's not the point of it. You know, so, <clears throat> so I understand, you know, that that the process that happened here is that way. But the way, way you're talking about it, yeah, it has to be like, boom, hero first, everything else later. As I'm talking about as the comic, you know, fleshes itself out. Right. So, but, uh, no, I think, I well, thought it was... Well, then, oh, okay, so it, then... The, the, you know what the main point of all this was? It was the process, really. First and foremost, it was the process. Right. You know, the the, the idea of... Uh, yeah, we're almost out yeah, of time here. Of how to come up with a superhero. 
and does it work? And our listeners will let us know that. You know, they're certainly going to have ideas yes. <laughs> about this. All right. Well, I don't, we don't even have time to play our little closing music and everything. So uh, I guess we'll say, you know, thanks for listening to our over three hour long yeah. episode. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we'll see you in a couple of days with uh, some couple cool interviews. Regularly scheduled program. Ciao. Bye bye. See so you. You got to hit the I can't reach it, Peter. You have to actually hit the stop. Happy button. anniversary.